Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I just wanted to film like a little video, just like a kind of like an update kind of thing. I haven't really had much time to film because I've been, I got a new job so I've been trying to get that sorted and I was in Sydney last week. I was going to vlog in Sydney but I just kind of like really enjoyed my time there and I don't know, I just didn't want to have the, like, the camera or the phone on me the whole time and I just like enjoyed my time with one of my best friends so that was really nice and I'm on my way to Michaela's house to pick her up because we are just going out for a little bit um, but I just wanted to fill you in so in about July this year when I went and saw the new doctor like specialist kind of guy um, he actually put me back on the contraceptive pill and he put me on metformin as well which is like a um, diabetic medication which helps treat PCOS so I was put on those two and he just wanted to get me on them to kind of re-regulate everything and kind of get my hormones back on track and just I guess like get everything like you know back to normal and I didn't really want to do it at the start because I had done so much research on the whole contraceptive pill and everything and I just wasn't very confident in going on it but I guess I just got to a point where nothing was I was trying so many different things and like nothing was working so I was like you know what let's just give it a go um, the first time I went on the contraceptive pill in 2016 I never really had any problems when I first went on it like I didn't gain weight or like anything like that that I know a lot of people do struggle with when they go on the pill so I was very fortunate in that way but then when I went off it I obviously had a lot of trouble so going back on it I was a bit like not 100% but I was like you know what let's just give it a go I can always just go back off it if it you know doesn't work like that's fine and I guess I did notice like some changes when I went back on these medications because it did help me get back to you know things re-regulating everything and I did get a period again which is nice he said to me like you could possibly put on some weight but then like once your body readjusts that you will lose it again but I felt my weight was kind of plateauing and just wasn't really like I wasn't losing heaps or you know I was just kind of going steady which I guess is annoying but it is what it is and I just like had to accept that this is what I've got to deal with and I'm just going to learn to figure it out the best way that I can at the moment in terms of like my anxiety and depression I am honestly in like a completely different headspace like I genuinely I genuinely feel so happy I'm enjoying life and I feel confident in my own skin like I know I have work to do and I want to tone up my body and I want to lose a bit more weight but I am happy with the process and I know I will get there it's just gonna take time and I'm enjoying watching my body change and like feel the difference I know how good I felt like two three years ago so and then to how I was feeling last year like I'm definitely getting back to where I was so proud of that that I have come this far and this is why I'm sharing like this journey because I want to help others get there but like don't feel alone like don't feel like you're struggling alone and it's you're never going to get back to where you once were because you will get there it just it takes a lot more time and a lot more effort and if you really want to get there you will you just have to put in I've been up and down like I was on a diet and then I didn't see changes and then I would just go and binge eat because I was so depressed that my body wasn't changing like you know within the click of a finger because like it's not the way it works and you just like learn to accept that since stopping training my body has changed a little bit like since that and now as of yesterday like I'm back on the bandwagon I'm gonna go to the gym every single day like and I'm training according to how I feel like I genuinely am gonna wake up and be like okay I'm not feeling it today I'm just gonna go and do a light session or I'm feeling great today I might do like a bit of weights and a bit of cardio like I'm just going off how I feel and especially with PCOS I've learned that they say less is more and interval training and um, resistance training is really really good but yeah like I said I'm back in the gym and I'm enjoying it so much now like I genuinely love waking up and going to the gym and just feeling good when I walk out the door like illness is the best feeling I always say to my sister is walking out of the gym and like hot and sweaty and just like feeling really good about yourself so I think that's super important like once you get into a routine you'll start to learn that like you'll enjoy it more and like finding what you enjoy like not a lot of people like going to the gym and doing weights or not a lot of people like doing cardio but when you try different things like you start to figure out what you enjoy and then I find like I don't want to train just because you know 
that's what we're taught to do like I want to train because I enjoy it and I genuinely love going to the gym so I sometimes can go and like time just gets away from me and I, I leave and I'm like holy crap I was there for two hours like or other days I'm like not feeling it I'll just go in for like a quick quick 40 minute session or something like that so yeah I think it's just really important to read how you're feeling and train off that and then obviously like diet is a super big thing so I did as you might have saw on my Instagram I did a three-day cleanse so I didn't do like a proper like branded one because I just couldn't afford it at the time so I literally just went into Woolworths and I found um, these three juices which is pretty much what I was gonna make or buy anyway so I did that so I literally had no food for three days and I just had a juice every couple of hours like like a glass like this big every couple of hours and I just sipped on it and like it really like the first day I struggled because obviously like I got back from Sydney where I wasn't eating so good so I was obviously hungry and then I had a few headaches because when I don't eat I get the headache I get shaky and I genuinely feel ill if I don't eat within two or three hours but I think the second day I had a bit of a headache but definitely felt so much better and then at the end of the second day third day I felt amazing like I was so happy just like my bloat had gone down I hadn't had any reactions I had my bowel movements were good and I just genuinely felt good so like that just gave me like a bit more of a booster and like a motivation to like kickstart what I wanted to do so I just did like a massive prep on Sunday and I just had it all like set up in containers ready for me to eat so I'm not like when I get hungry just don't go look for a snack in the pantry even since doing the cleanse I haven't been just constantly thinking about food which is what I usually do I like haven't been so hungry and then I've been eating like smaller portions because I've been getting fuller quickly so yeah I find like that has just been so good because I can eat like I can eat until the cows come home so to actually like get full quite quickly and not be hungry all the time like it feels really really good just for my stomach like some of you guys know how much I struggle with my stomach and like the swelling and the bloating that I have suffered from so to not have that in the last four days I've felt like unstoppable like I've just felt so great my energy's been great my attitude's been great and I've just been happy so I come excited and I am wanting to stick to this for four weeks so up until my birthday yeah just see like how my body reacts and how I like if my body changes and I know going to the gym in a good routine will definitely change my body so yeah I'm just excited to get fit again and start like some more handstand training some more acro like strength kind of stuff I'm gonna be starting up boxing which I'm really excited about because I absolutely love boxing so since going off the two medications that I was on the contraceptive pill and metformin I have gone to a naturopath who she's actually in Queensland which I saw when I was up there when I got quite sick she gave me a one of her herb mixes so she looked into my eyes and could see everything that I was lacking and like just chatting to her she could see what I needed and everything that I've been through so she gave me a natural like her herb mix like made up from just me she also gave me like a skin like a natural skin supplement to help out with my skin which I also definitely think has cleared up whilst doing like the juice cleanse as well like that's really helped I have got like a probiotic just like because I've been taking so many medications just try and like flush that all out and then I've also got these two products coming which I'm really excited to tell you about but I'm just gonna wait um, I'm gonna try them out first and see how they go but I've heard so many great things about them so with these two products they're from two different companies but I am hopefully gonna be doing a little giveaway with them so keep an eye out for that and I will definitely do a little review on like how I go with these products like supplements they're all natural like gluten-free dairy-free like all of that which is what I need yeah I'll definitely keep you updated on that yeah so I thought I would just give you a little update like on how I've been feeling and like what's like the go kind of at the moment so yeah I'm definitely feeling so much better and like I said I'm just enjoying the journey now so after the last two videos that I made um, I was so happy and a little bit emotional about like how many messages I received I just was a bit overwhelmed that I generally helped a lot of people like I don't know I was always hoping I would but you just I don't know never know I guess I just yeah it just made me so happy and I guess just for others to know you're not alone like there are so many people out there that you can talk to and open up to and it's so important like 
when I was going through everything to know that I had one two or five people there like it just made me feel you know like you're not alone and you have people to talk to and who are willing Ooh, yeah. I don't have a proper camera holder in the car yet so this is what we're dealing with sorry about the quality oh I just really hope that you guys know that I am always here like my Messages are always open for you guys if you need to talk about anything. Hi guys, We've so I'm with Mickey. <laughs> just picked Tori her up. just saved us. Pump it up, Tori. Pump it up. 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 So we're going to the LBM. It's actually really, it was not bad on Sunday last night. Yeah, no. It should be good though. We're going sober, but I mean, we're fun with or without the LBM. Yeah, literally. So. And Steph, who we're saying, she doesn't drink yeah. either. Yeah, that's like, she doesn't. But like, I had this chat with my brother, right? So he was doing, like, he was on a diet and obviously wasn't drinking. And every time his mates were going out, he's like, well, I can't go because, like, they'll just be a pressure, pressure me to drink. Yeah. But, like, I get that. But yeah. we're all for right. me, it's like, not a problem. You know, yeah. You yeah, like, like, no. The other night you yeah. drank and I didn't, yeah. and it's, like, not an yeah, issue. Yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah. I just feel like if you don't want to drink, you just have to have the good willpower. Yeah, like, like, if you have willpower, it's not a problem. Like, people, like, even when we're out the other night, they're like, do you drink? Yeah. Like, get a drink. I'm like, no, no, I just have a water. Like, yeah. it's fine. I know, it's really fun and it depends but what I you go like, with as well. Like. Yeah, and I know a lot of people like just can't go out without alcohol or yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Which is sad, but I know. I know. I just find either way. Yeah. I can have fun. We're just going on a dance floor, burning some calories. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I would do that. Also, uh, we're playing sweet and sour. Okay. <laughs> I used to play like in primary school. I'm not even saying on like bus trips to camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only went to one camp, not for me. Right, yeah. um, I never went because I was this like This is a young, no, no, not waiting. It's not live, is it? No. Um, also, yeah. Australia Day is my favourite day of the year. 26th of December. Mm -hmm. No, January. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing Day. Oh, yeah. Australia Day. January, yeah. But you, so you can't drive a little jet ski. Oh, I can jet ski, yeah. don't you worry. All right, all right. So if you want to come, like, feel yeah. free. Have you been jet skiing? No. Oh, my God. No, you or break something. Jet skiing is the best. <laughs> Alright, tonight. <laughs> Alright, tonight. Alright, so last time we went, we tried to see as many photos. Wait, oh, try and, get as, try and get as yeah. many photos as we can get in. So this time we're going to do that. I just pretend like we're Should not. you move the camera? Just move uh, it. Okay. <laughs> Did you watch Love Island last night? No. no you're, yeah. Are you up to date? Are you watching it? Yeah, I am, but I don't really think I like hard yet. <laughs> you know, I just she's only like, nineteen. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Like, what are I, you like, doing? I find her really mature, but I also find like she's nineteen. I wouldn't go on the show to find the Love one right now. Yeah. yeah. Like I'd go if I was still single in two years, I'd go. I'd have yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Like, you know, I'd go on Big Brother. Things. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a like effort to go out then once you're out like it's such a good time yeah. I don't know with me like the, I just do want to sit at home like, and I'll yeah. like, I just want to yeah. do something yes right it how good is this lighting though is it don't tell lucky though how many sure. piercings do you have just my ears yeah just two just two yeah, I really want to get one there, but like... I want to get my second done, and I want to get the ear done. I don't know if I'm a piercing person. Yeah, same. Besides like them and my belly. Yeah, yeah. Are you more of a Saturday night or Sunday person? Me. Sunday afternoon drinker. I love a Sunday sesh. I love a day sesh. That's weird. But... I just like Monday, you know, it's like work, get ready for the week, and I don't want to go shit. So yeah. that's why I like Sunday, because you've got Sunday to recover. Yeah. Did you go on schoolies? No. Did you? Yeah, I did. Did you go to Queensland? No, I went to Lawn. Oh, uh, yeah. How much did you reckon you dance for? Um, this is my last year. Oh, it is? Mm. So this will be our last concert? Yeah. Oh my god. I know, it's going to be so sad. Where is one place you really want to go? The Maldives. The Maldives, yeah. Would you go with a friend, or would you go with um, like a boyfriend that we don't have? Um, I reckon I would do both. I'd good answer. Go, good answer. Go with me bestie. Yeah, same. I and then yeah. no, that would be a good honeymoon and then, destination. Yeah, yeah. 
Or yeah. I don't want to go Bora Bora. Yeah. yeah. But I really want to do like Whit Sundays. Yeah. I've done that. They're really beautiful. Yeah. And I loved Byron. Like, I want to do all of that again. Yeah. There's Daydream Island, Hayman Island, Dunk Island. Yeah, I want to do all of them. Yeah. Because they're just so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd do Australia. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I literally love traveling. What if I moved but to Sydney? Just... Would you come with me? Oh, wow. Um, I'm flattered that you asked. <laughs> <laughs> it's so but emotional. you're going to stay in Melbourne. But Melbourne, I don't know. I love Sydney and it's so good to like get away and go there. Yeah. But I feel like Melbourne is just like such a good livable silly. 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 <laughs> it's such a good city. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, you're not moving. I know, like, look, if you want to, of course I'll support you and you can go. Slater and Gordon. <laughs> you know that commercial? She's German. Billy? Yeah, she has a cool accent. Get out! Yeah. So she's actually from Germany? Yeah. Stop. Um, Let's all pretend we're from Germany. Alright. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so Aussie, how are ya? Oh. We finally found a park. Oh, well, Cory Park. Cory. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I, the last time I parked in a car park in Chapel Street, my car got broken into, so you this could time, say. This time you've got me, I'll bash him with my handbag. <laughs> yeah. Could say I'm a little worried. But... Are we going the right way, Del? Oh, I should probably check that, shouldn't I? Hey. Cory's actually dressed already. That's what I'm wearing. Um, we've got the. Nice. Oh my god, this is so cool! This is so cool! It's good because, like, you can see me looking from the back. You've got every ankle, even up. Look at it out! <laughs> Yeah, open your door, bitch. I'm here. Match your door. <laughs> open the goddamn. <laughs> We're at the wrong door. You just filmed the wrong door as well. We're finally ready. Yeah. Look at staff. 11 out of 10. I'm oh. actually so excited. Me too. <laughs> Because the party's right here. Alright. Everyone, come with me. And. I'm absolutely obsessed. We. Oh uh, my god, look at us. Steph, say hey. I don't want to pop. 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 I was only taking off slow so the camera didn't go flying. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I know. I'm proud of you. Thank you. 